Lamborghini doesn't get enough kudos for its current autos. That is no place more clear than with the Hurricane Performante, which is without come up short the best Lambo at any point made, as well as the best auto in its class. By a long shot, with each auto that experiences our carport in Brisbane, there is a sound chronicle yours genuinely makes while driving that causes me recall every one of the bits that were adored and hated about a specific auto. So with regards to composing it up at a later date, it feels crisp and exact. With the performancey, the somewhat short chronicle was only a great deal of f-words. Truly, if Lambert had chosen to call this the Hurricane Holy F hash dollar K performancey, it would have been perfect. Comfortable exact instant, you can stroll into a Lamborghini merchant and request an auto that opposes all that we've come to know as conceivable from a street legitimate supercar. It has not just crushed the bar with regards to dynamic competency, it has raised it so high that it will enthusiasm to check whether Ferrari can coordinate it with its special variant of the 488 expected in the following a year. The nuts and bolts of the powertrain are basically the same as the standard auto. However with an additional 22 kilowatts from the 5.2 litre V10, which is worked by Audi, that has been around fit as a fiddle or shape since the Gallardo, that in fact makes the performant EULP 644, yet authoritatively it's simply performant -y. The refreshed fumes framework makes a perceptible ordeal more much the same as a GT3 race auto than a hurricane. It's deafeningly boisterous in all the correct ways. You can't extricate this kind of oral joy from any half-breed or turbocharged motor. Express gratitude toward Lambo for staying with this normally suction V10 motor for that tad longer. In any case, even without turbos or electric engines to help. It will go from 0 100 km per hour in only 2.9 seconds, a great 300 ms quicker than the consistent Hurricane and furthermore speedier than the twin-turbo Ferrari 488 and matches the McLaren 720S. That change in speeding up is expected to an enhanced AWD framework that sees the performance drive more energy to the front for takeoff than some time recently. Lamborghini crushed the Nürburgring lap record with the Performanty when the auto was discharged a year ago. It was in this manner beaten by the Porsche 911 GT2 RS, which is no less than a decent $175,000 more costly, yet it remains not just faster than anything Ferrari or McLaren has ever tossed around the ring. But at the same time it's the speediest normally suctioned auto to have at any point graced the green hellfire. A considerable measure of that needs to do with Lambo's license to la framework, a progression of dynamic streamlined frameworks both at the front and back of the vehicle, which open and close unique vents that change the wind stream for generously enhanced cornering hold. Contrasted with the standard Hurricane, the performance has a stunning 750 for every penny more downforce than that auto. In any case, it's not simply straight downforce, it's really air vectoring, with the back wing ready to close either the left or right air channels to deliver 50 newton meters of torque that helps turn the auto. For instance, in case you're turning left. The correct side of the wing permits wind stream and the left side close to make air protection. Not too unique to how planes work noticeable all around. The front lip likewise shuts its wind stream channel to drive the nose of the auto down for better front hold into corners. Obviously, you have to really track the auto to receive the most in return. Something we especially appreciated doing at the performance is worldwide dispatch in Imola mid a year ago. Be that as it may. Here in the to a great degree sweltering states of Mount Nebo and glorious presented by Brisbane's mid-year, the Lord of the Hurricane Run lived up to our desires, as well as smashed them to pieces. We have tried the standard Hurricane, the backwheel drive Hurricane, the Ferrari 488 and a lot of McLarens and different supercars on the extremely same street, and to be superbly reasonable. The performance is the new lord. It does things that appear to be inconceivable, it grasps where there is no hold, and it quickens out of corners with such savagery and control that you begin trusting it's really you and not the auto. There are even minutes that you may think about whether you missed your bringing in F1.